Senator McFedrin. Thank you very much, Your Honor. I want to begin with a very sincere thank you to the Independent Senators Group for providing me with time today, given that unaffiliated senators um, often do not have that option. I want to give tribute today to the late Honorable Lois Wilson. I don't have adequate time or words to outline in a lot of detail how much she changed and influenced my life, but I want to point out that it was her independence, her determination as a senator to remain independent and unaffiliated, even at a time when the political binary of this chamber was so dominant. And she accomplished a lot. I remember talking to her about the committees that she served on, assuming that she would be, for example, on the Human Rights Committee. And to my surprise, she said, oh, I'm not allowed to sit on any committees. And of course, we know that that is still a, a challenge for us here today for those who are unaffiliated. But nevertheless, Lois Wilson worked on behalf of people who very often would never otherwise have been heard or represented in this chamber. And she found ways to do it with grace, determination, and success. For those of you like Senator Kim Pate who knew and worked with Lois, the fact that she resembled a petite hurricane in words and action was actually part of her allure. In the words of the Honorable Lloyd Axworthy about her influence on him from a young age in Winnipeg, we had wonderful ministers, Roy Wilson and Lois Wilson. She eventually became the moderator of the United Church, very famous woman. When I got into foreign affairs, she did some dangerous, tricky missions for me, like going to Sudan. She will be remembered for her remarkable life accomplishments. First woman moderator of the United Church, special envoy to Sudan and North Korea, senator, companion of the Order of Canada. My fondest recollection is sitting on the living room floor in the modest church manse on Arlington Avenue in Winnipeg's North End. Every Sunday evening, Lois and her husband Roy would lead a group of teens in discussion on the tenets of the social gospel, which taught that one's faith is tested by what you do on earth to make it a better place. It wasn't just talk. The list of ways that Lois helped and guided me over many years is too long to give today, but I would ask that you join with me in a sense of tribute to this woman who for nine plus decades gave of herself her brilliance, her sense of justice to make this world a better place. Thank you. Merci. Merci.